Hi, my name's Mark Sloop. I'm the manager of Great River TV here in Little Falls, and this is the first episode of our new show called GRTV's Cooking Show. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how you can make shrimp fried rice using a wok, fresh vegetables, and we're ready to go. To make about four servings of shrimp fried rice, you're going to need two cups of cooked jasmine rice, three to four cloves of chopped garlic, two tablespoons of chopped carrots, two teaspoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of fish sauce, one egg, half teaspoon of sugar, eighth teaspoon of white pepper, as many shrimp as you like, and one chopped green onion. Serve the meal with the cilantro and lime. So, the first thing you want to do is take your chopped garlic, put it in your hot oil, Let that start browning just slightly. Keep it moving in the pan so it doesn't burn. Garlic can get a little bit bitter if you overcook it at this point. As it starts to change color slightly, that's when you're going to want to go in with any uncooked uh, protein, such as, as me, I'm using shrimp today. If you're using um, anything else that's already cooked, you would be adding that later. Okay, we're getting a little bit of color on some of that, so we're just going to go in with all the shrimp here. And we're going to Sear that on both sides. I'm using a hot plate that's not quite as hot as my stove at home, so this will take a little bit longer to do the shrimp and to do the full cooking. So we'll let that go till that's ready. In the meantime, I don't want to be the only one doing these cooking shows on Great River TV. I hope some of you viewers watching this show would like to show off your uh, cooking skills and demonstrate how to make uh, a favorite dish of yours, possibly. Just contact me at Great River TV. Our phone number is 631-0005 or you can email me at television at greatart.org. So you're going to want to saute the shrimp here with the garlic until it's about 80% cooked. You don't want to overcook shrimp. So as you keep a close eye on this, Keep it moving in the pan. You should have no trouble over not overcooking it. Okay, the, the shrimp is cooked as far as I want it to go right now, so we're going to push that off to one side. and break an egg in here. Break the yolk. Let it set for a little bit. Like I said, this hot plate isn't as hot as your stove is going to be, so this takes a little bit longer. But 
Get that egg scrambled up there, let it set. There. Okay. Next thing you want to do is add your rice. And then just take your spatula, break up the rice. This works with uh, fresh cooked rice or rice that made the day before. But at this point you just want to get all the clumps broken up, get the egg mixed in with the uh, Rice. Okay, now we can start adding some of the other ingredients. Grabbing the sugar here, fish sauce, soy sauce, and the black pepper. And the carrots. Now you're going to want to cook this and, and mix it around, keep it constantly moving in the pan. You can do this with a regular cooking pan as well. I like using a wok because of the high sides. But just make sure you're using a pan large enough to accommodate whatever amount you're cooking here. Today I'm cooking for four, so I add actually making a little bit more than I normally would. So we're going to keep doing this, get everything heated through, and we're just about done. Okay, it's looking pretty good. We're going to add in the uh, green onion. Mix that in. Okay, that should be good. We're going to turn off the heat. Add the cilantro. And it's ready to plate. And there we go. A little, little shrimp on top there. And it's ready to eat. Now if you'd like to add a little spiciness to it, the traditional condiment in Thailand is um, taking a, a couple chilies, chopping them up with some chopped garlic and a little bit of fish sauce squeeze a lime and a little bit of cilantro. That'll add a little kick to your rice. It's also served It's also served with cucumber. So you can have that. There we go. And then a squeeze of lime as you'd like it. So there is the completed shrimp fried rice. It's time to eat. I hope you like the show and like I said before if you're interested in doing your own show contact me and we will get it set up so you can do this for yourself and put it on TV 
And if you'd like, we can put it on the Great River TV YouTube channel, and you can use it as your social media as well. So thanks for watching. Bye now.